Hello and welcome to the presentation ABB Room Touch 4 inch. My name is Thorsten Reibel from the company ABB and I work in the field of building automation global training. In the next 20 minutes, I will give you an overview of our new KNX product, the ABB Room Touch 4 inch with KNX programming and the way to operate it. Here we have the component in black and white. At the end of the presentation, we will be happy to answer your questions. All information of our ABB KNX products and solutions are available on our website abb.com slash KNX. If you want more details like a product manual or ETS application, then go to products and downloads. The complete training content of our devices is in our training database. Here you will find extensive content, links to the recording and presentation slides of our numerous webinars and learning sessions. The training videos are also available on the YouTube channel Home and Building Automation. I would like to start with an overview of the new ABB Room Touch, but before we come to the product itself, let's consider the way of operation and interaction in a smart room by a user. It is via a conventional push button connected with an interface to KNX or often, of course, a KNX push button. Touch panels are used and apps on a smartphone is very common nowadays. Visualization on a PC, especially in bigger projects and also voice control is possible nowadays. But the mostly used KNX push button has limitations like the number of operations due to the number of existing buttons on the device. Showing status is only with LED Values or clear text information not really possible. The missing or unclear button description does not simplify the operation. The button assignment is flexible thanks to the option of reprogramming, but the overall hardware design is fixed. This guides us directly to our ABB Room Touch here with the first features. It is made for the operation of typical room functions like light, shutter, room temperature control or scenes via a touch surface. Smooth operation by swiping or clicking on the touch screen. It has a high resolution colored 4 inch display and it fits in a standard installation box in the wall exactly where users are used to operate room functions. For the installer or system integrator it's easy to commission via the DCA, the device configuration app in the ETS and it's available in white or black. Here you get some impressions how to operate functions like lighting control. You click on the icon to turn on the light. Via the three dots on the upper right side you come to a further page with more options to operate something. For instance to select color of the light. Stop the blinds or change the set point for room temperature control. This is a so-called information page showing status information like window is open or actual weather data, but also warnings or even errors can be indicated. The ABB Room Touch 4 inch is not the only touch panel we have. This new device fits perfectly with our existing 5 inch Room Touch and the 10 inch Smart Touch. Same design, same way of operation and the parameterization in the ETS is also almost the same. Allow me to give you also a preview to a further product, the ABB Trivion with a 2.4 inch display, but the possibility to combine it with frames from our various wiring accessory ranges like Karat or Solo. Functionality and operating principle is similar to the Room Touch 4 inch, so now it looks really like a push button and it fits with other wiring accessories like sockets in the room. It will be available soon, still this year. Let's have a look to the main technical data of the ABB Room Touch 4 inch. It has a touch screen with IPS display, 4 inch square format. The display resolution is 480 by 480 pixel with up to 240 candela per square meter. It needs an external power supply between 20 and 30 volt DC and 100 milliampere, typically 24 volt. The integrated SD card slot is for firmware update, optional configuration import from ETS or photos for screensaver function. Integrated temperature sensor exists and needed for room temperature control. 
Yeah, it's a KNX device, but alternatively, it can be linked to our separate home automation system, ABB Free at Home, as well. Additional terminals for a binary input or external PT1000 temperature sensor input is also existing. We have here also an ABB sensor available. Topic sustainability, very important. The life cycle is 20,000 hours with maximum brightness greater than 125 candelabra per square meter. But as the display is most of the time turned off, it can be used for a long time. Some further features of the room touch. It is a monoblock device, means it has an integrated bus coupler. The surface is made of glass, available in black or white, like the frame. Integrated proximity sensor for waking up the device when approaching it. Integrated brightness sensor to adapt the brightness of the display. Haptic feedback when touching the screen to operate something with vibration and sound. And it's for global use in VDE and British standard markets. And with the two brands ABB and Boschega, this is depending on the market. Some words about installation. As mentioned, it can be installed in a flush mounting box in the wall. Just fix a mounting frame on the box. The frame is part of the delivery. Then snap the ABB room touch on the frame in the right position, means that the arrows on the rear side point upwards. There's an option. Anti-theft protection clamps can be inserted. Then the removal of the device is only possible via a special plastic tool. Both is available from ABB. Let's come now to KNX programming. Before that, a summary of the software features. 12 pages, each can have one, two or four functions for easy and fast operation. 12 control functions, including room temperature control, can be assigned. This should be enough for all room functions in one device. The information page is an additional page with up to 12 status information, just to get important messages at a glance. The integrated proximity sensor, when approaching to wake up the device and if you want to send a command. Primary function, that's nice. Touch the screen with three fingers or more to activate the main room function, typically lighting control. And it's KNX data secure capable, therefore prepared for secured communication on twisted pair cable. Ten logic functions, end, or gate and more are available. Ten weekly timer for the parameterized room touch functions to be adjusted by the user. Four scene functions, each with ten different scenes and up to 15 participants. And we have 13 different control elements for switching, dimming, RGB white control with colored lighting, sending values, shutter and blind control. For HVAC exists fan and room temperature control as well as split unit and VRV control. Scenes can be operated and even audio control is possible. The configuration is done via DCA in the ETS. DCA stands for Device Configuration App. It is well known nowadays in KNX, used for parameterization of many powerful KNX components. But it is product specific, available on our product homepage abb.com slash KNX or in the KNX App Store. Free of charge, of course, it has to be imported into ETS. The principle of parameterization and commissioning in the DCA is the same as with ABB's RoomTouch 5 inch or SmartTouch 10 inch. And here are also similar functions. Let's have a look to the GCA in the ETS. On top, some superior functions. Under applications, you find system settings and more. Depending on selection in the area applications, parameters are shown, as well as related group objects and the group addresses of the project. The area navigation allows to create pages with one, two or four control elements. The function buttons are selected from the top via drag and drop to be adjusted in the parameter window. Group addresses are assigned via drag and drop as well. The final download can be done directly from the ETS as known. Option is to export a file to the SD card. Then the download is done on the display itself by inserting the card in the device. Download time can be a bit faster in this case. An important superior function is the opportunity to achieve a preview for each page which has been created. 
you see exactly how it will look like on the real display. Further functions behind the subpage accessible by tapping on the three dots can be seen and operated as well. Please note, KNX telegrams are not sent in this case. The information page as an additional page is a pretty good option to show up to 12 information, warnings or errors. Each can be assigned to different icons. Values can be evaluated by adjusting thresholds. In case of an essential thought, a pop-up message box in red can appear on the screen to inform at once about the situation. Data types, 1 bit, 1 byte, 2 byte, 4 byte, and even 14 byte text information can be processed. A further option is to connect at the room touch directly either a binary contact or a temperature sensor. Parameters in the ETS can be adjusted accordingly. What are the practical applications? Connection of a window contact in the room or an additional conventional switch or push button. A connected temperature sensor on the floor for monitoring the temperature in case of floor heating system can be required or weighted measurement with a second room temperature sensor for room temperature control. Now we see some details of the KNX control elements. In total, 13 different ones are existing to be selected in the DCA and placed on the page. The switch control element is made to send one-bit telegrams, with typical options to adjust the kind of switch like toggle and more. Icons or text can be chosen, status information via separate status objects are parameterizable. Enable disable object is available to activate or deactivate the button temporarily, also possible for other control elements. The control element RGB white control allows the complete operation of colored lighting, typically by means of a KNX Dali gateway. All needed adjustments like type of color control, for instance RGB or tunable white, and the use data point type, including the six byte objects are offered in the parameters. Finally, the user can select in the color circle the color directly, impossible with a normal KNX push button. Operation of a split unit in a room is a typical room function, perfectly made with the ABB room touch. What can be adjusted in the parameters? Display of room temperature and set point with minimum maximum value. Number of fan levels or access to the different operating modes, depending what is supported by the existing split unit. A suitable actuator to control such a device is ABB's split unit gateway SUGU 1.1 which communicates via infrared with a split unit. Last but not least, let's see what is possible if the audio control element is used. Typical functions like play, stop, forward and more exist for up to eight audio sources. Connection to the audio system either via ABB's control touch, it's made for Sonos, or by means of an external KNX audio actuator. Finally, a perfect solution in integration with KNX when using the ABB room touch. Our last part now is to give you some insights of the way to operate such a panel. It's pretty simple. You tap on an icon to switch a light or activate a function. In case of changing a value, you swipe a slider. Control elements with more powerful functions allow to assess a subpage by touching the three dots on the upper right side corner. Everything well known from smartphones in our daily life. Jumping to different pages is done by swiping from left to right or vice versa. The just selected page can be identified with the highlighted icon on the bottom. Page call can be done also directly on this toolbar. The page system settings is represented by the gear symbol on the bottom. If adjusted in the ETS or by the user, a pin code must be entered first of all. Now the user is invited to adjust the display brightness, the sensitivity of the proximity sensor and more. The theme with dark or light background on the display. Date and time. Language under user settings. Screensaver either clock, photo show from the SD card or information page, all with further settings. Setting of pin code to assess system settings itself. Commissioning means activation of programming mode or rebooting, resetting of the device. Execution of firmware update. The part about gives some product information like KNX address. 
Finally, we see pages with light background, as mentioned also adjustable by the user. In summary, we have beside system settings and information page the page timer function. But the user can adjust it easily. The home page is shown when approaching the room touch and up to further 11 pages with functions behind. Before we get to the questions, I would like to say thank you for listening. Thank you.